Yeah, Shane was just telling us how he went to Studio 54 last night. Studio 54? That's that big disco everybody's talking about. Where all the stars go. Yeah, Dad, you should have seen it. Hey, I saw a star once. Bob Hope. You see him there? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the memories, Dad, but it wasn't a Korean War show. Well, I went up into the balcony. It was pretty. It was pretty dark. The girl who cut my hair had this boyfriend whose sister did the books for Steve Rubell and got me an interview. Steve Rubell, a regular Brooklyn kid who got his start by running a few steakhouses, was now on top of the world. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look for yourself. Okay. I was warned that Steve didn't hire any dummies, and I should be on my toes because he could ask some really tricky questions. What's two plus two? Huh? You'll be fine. <laughs> You're right. He's gorgeous. Come on in. Where do bad little bartenders go if they don't go to hell first? Zena. Right. A fate worse than death. So, as of tonight, the new bartender will be... Rhett. Oh, and uh, we got a new bus boy. His name is Shane. Shane! Shane, come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find the right size. And remember, it's you boys who are truly New York's finest. One Shabby. Great kid. Shabby. So, uh, what'll it be? What'll it be? <laughs> Where did I get you, Rocky? Philadelphia. No talking to the animals, bus boy. Hang in there, baby. Greg, man, can you help me, please? This is how it works. Keep the bottles and the glasses off the dance floor. Now remember, keep the champagne cold and keep it flowing. You gotta pay attention to the VIP area. Steve doesn't want them ever to have to pour champagne themselves. Now, listen up. After everybody's all gone, you check the banquettes. We usually find some pretty good stuff. You said you we black? I think so. Ready? Yeah. There she was. Julie Black. Man, she looked even better in person than on TV. She was from Jersey, too, and she'd made it. So I made it. Bartending was the best job in the world. But for me, the big thing was, when you were a bartender at 54, everybody knew your name. You were famous. 